good day in this video i'm going to show you guys how i test the position hall and attitude hall feature which i have developed for quite some time this is for indoor flying using this uh, do it yourself flight controller and this flight controller i'm using the esp 32 s3 super mini which is a brand behind the system and for the stabilizations i'm using this uh, mpu 6050 and for the heading using this uh, QMCL compass and along with this I also have add in the um, pin for the ESC and also for the receiver module and to test this feature which I've mentioned earlier I'm going to use this uh, NTF02 module this module is uh, optical flow with built-in uh, rangefinder sensor and later on, I'm going to integrate both of these components all together into a 5-inch copter. Now, as you can see, I have already installed the flight controller module together with the reliable module and pins such as a receiver module connect the correct ESC pin and also the NTF02 pin which is a optical flow and range finder sensor which I have already installed at the back of this drone and next I'm going to program this flight controller using the flight controller code that have written to test the position hall and attitude hall feature. Okay, right now, I'm going to take off in the um, attitude hall mode. Once I reach the stable attitude hall, I'm going to switch it into the position hall. Switch into a position all one. Yep, and now it's in the position all one. I don't wow. want to it on the and you can see it's gone. And then it's one specific locations. Wow. We try the best to maintain there, hovering at a specific location. And I can take over or override the drone to move into a specific location that I desire in this case, here yep, I then touch the drone and you can see it maintain there uh, hovering at this place ok, I'm going to take over the drone and land The demonstrations that we did earlier you can see this drone is able to maintain its attitude and position is quite stable and what makes this interesting project because everything is do it yourself in which you can build on your own therefore I'm going to make up my code my flight control code is available for everyone on I plan to op uh, open source this so that you guys can make something creative out of it so see you guys in the next video.